Shangan quartz from Zimbabwe, quite, quite magnificent. In this case, a very, very mild undertone of amethyst, traces of smoky quartz as well. So this would be a smoky amethyst. Lovely patterns of the, the smoky running through. Uh, a floater, so it would have formed as is in nature. I think uh, I'm showing you this side now, but from a display point of view, I'd have it going the other way around. So almost like a, a multi-headed rocket. Get all those terminations across there, so you have a termination there, there, some over there. We go in, bright lustrous, lovely luster on these. These are best appreciated when held in hand. So very, extremely difficult to photograph. And across, oh, maybe this is where, where it was sitting on some matrix. That's not crystalline right through over there. So this wouldn't be a floater. Sorry about that. Let's just hold it this way. Quite, quite lovely. And size-wise, we're looking at, well, maybe four inches or maybe just under four inches length to length. So a pretty good size uh, specimen. There's the other crystal jutting out the bottom there. All the way from the uh, deposits of the Chibuku in uh, the Zambezi Valley in Zimbabwe. Quite lovely, smoky, smoky amethyst. Um, is this a scepter or is this something else? This is where crystallography gets rather complicated. But that is the, one of the telltale traces of this deposit.